Hello everybody, my name's Atley. Welcome back to my No Runner hard mode playthrough. We are in the Ford F750 pickup, as you can see. We're in Black Badger Lake. And at the end of the last episode, I had a fight with a porta potty and I lost. And it deleted, I think it was 201 points of suspension damage. Deleted and a wheel taken out, etc. So, yeah. Uh, I've got to do a little bit of a service rescue. And the Ford has got 400 points of service available. I need just over 500, but it'll be enough to get my suspension fixed and get me mobile again with a touch of force. I was going to drive this down off cam and just get the service, uh, get the repairs done and then resume the episode with the deliveries. But I've plotted out an interesting looking route on the map. I've just come across from the railway station. So I've just driven up through here over that little bridge. And then we're going to go across here and grab this upgrade on the way through. And I figured even if I end up time lapsing it, it's content that I should st leave in really. I marked that because I thought there was a path there, but maybe not. But there is a path just through these trees. That's fine. Uh, yeah, so this may end up being a time lapse right from the start of the episode just to get my forward down there but it was an interesting enough driving route that I thought I'd better record it rather than not uh, probably not in all-wheel drive yeah I keep forgetting that the board isn't always on so this may be a time lapse we'll see how we go but I'm going to get this truck down grab that upgrade on the way through and then fix up the force at the weather station. We never have to go back to the weather station, but the Ford can probably go into the Greenwoods from that gateway. But this isn't a route that I particularly drive very often. I know I've been down here to do a delivery and come across this bridge once, but it's not a route I drive very often, so I thought I'd keep it in. Plus the joy of driving the Ford. Always makes me smile. Hang on a minute, I did mark some, somewhere here. Where was it? Okay, so there's a little bit of a twisty route up through some rocks. On my left. And again, pretty sure I've driven down this once. When I had to come and dismantle a building. But I don't think I've ever driven up this route. I'm reasonably sure that the Ford won't go to a mural with me. I know it's got a chains advantage over the Tatarin, but I think in general the Tatarin has the snow and just go anywhere advantage until you run into ice. So it depends on whether I drastically need scouting with chains if there are any inaccessible areas, but even then I might take something like the Yar. We'll see. The Yar is my vehicle of choice for the exploration trailer. So yeah, this the Ford may not make much of an appearance after this map. Right, so somewhere in here, there's an upgrade. That looks a bit boggy. Let's have a quick check on the map. So it is that way. So basically down through here to here. It'd be funny if this was a really important upgrade that I could have been using all along. But I'm sure somebody would have mentioned it if that was the case. On a tree. Go into a different tree. <laughs> you guys can't see much of this, can you? All 
Right. And you know, what have we got? Fine tune gearbox, which is the low range that's got extra gears. So truck list. Oh, that fits a lot of things. Phoenix, Grad, Small Zix, Tega. Yeah. Bike. Okay, interesting. Fine tune gearbox. I don't think I've ever used one. I might have one in one of my scouts, maybe the Land Rover. Just but I've never really taken advantage of that. But more low gear options if I understand correctly. So I've got to get back out of here. And rejoin trail and then across towards the gateway. I know where I'm going from there. And up into this weather station. Quick winch saved the day. Nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> Nearly went over, didn't it? In relation to the last episode of me thinking I could casually knock a, a what in the real world would be plastic water toilet out of the way, just casually dragged my force through it, and it turned out to be rock solid titanium. <laughs> Comment suggested yeah it's full of concrete which is what it felt like when I hit the damn thing don't drive through the porta cabins porta toilets porta potties I think porta potties is what we call them in the UK keep going to call them a porta cabin but that's not that's a different thing All right, job one, get the repairs done. That's the main reason for being here, but we've also got to give some fuel out. We've got a little bit of fuel to spare. But job one, fix some... <laughs> I always get a bit deceived by how big this Ford is. And then you pull up next to something like that, and it's actually taller. I know that's got no suspension, but even so. Right, engine on. And then repair. Attach a force. So change a wheel. Fix the suspension. And then gas tank. And then what's left goes into the engine. Needs 125 points to fully repair it, but that should do it. And that is all the repair points I had on me. That's that bit. And then fuel-wise, how's the force? So the force isn't doing too bad for fuel, actually. I'll leave the force and I'll just put some in the cat. Huh. Must remember to put the thing in neutral. I never will, will I? do it every time and my excuse is that the gear stick integration for this game doesn't recognize neutral on my shifter so I do generally put the stick into neutral but it leaves the truck in whichever gear you last used so you know instinct as a real world driver is you just put the car in neutral in the gear stick this game doesn't do that that's why I keep forgetting so refuel that close to fills the cat up. And then my utility mount, I'll keep for myself. So that I can be confident I'm getting out of here if I need to go and do a rescue of the Azov. I've got enough fuel to do it. So I'll leave the Ford here for a minute. Uh, we'll get the cat and horse moving and try to get on with our job. But thank you, Ford. You're always a star.
and then uh, both of these trucks will head past the Azov. I'll probably get the Azov out and on the road before I move past them too far. Just to make sure the Azov is going to be safe. And I want the cat to pick up a set of medium logs from the other logging camp, the one near the gateway. Whereas the force would go back to... Uh, I think... Yeah, left turn. Uh, yeah, the force will go back to the sawmill because I'll need four lots of planks. Sharp left turn here. I'm going to separate them and put them back on a rope after I've got the cat maneuvered around this corner. Because it doesn't have a great turning circle. That should do me. And then hook the two together. And off we go. I need to leave the dip lock on, so I'll leave it in low high. Because it is spinning a fair bit. These rocks aren't great for it. At the corner. Beautiful sunny day in the game and I'm looking out the window. Beautiful sunny day outside as well. Where's the turning? Is it this coming up? I think it is. So I am going to kill my engine here. And then we'll jump into the Azov, which doesn't have a lot of fuel. But load long logs onto the loading platform. And then we'll get these loaded into the Azov and drive out to meet them and, and well, I'll have to pick up some fuel out of one of them but hopefully I've got enough fuel to load and it's, it's debatable I don't think I have got enough fuel to load this and drive out but we'll see right 38 litres of fuel 37 stole the crane pack the cargo and break off. Let's go try and get as close as we can anyway. But not rushing it and causing an accident. Burning fuel messing around with winches. It's that tree, I remember now. There was a tree in the ground. I had to do this last time. Pull my nose the side. There we go, it's just gone into the ground. That is fuel, 15 litres. So um, my fuel tank is pulling air, basically. So engine off, I can change into, I think the cat, just because it hasn't got a trailer on really. Refuel, we will put it's enough to get it out. Leave that off the road a sec. And then change back. And I'm taking, just as a reminder, I'm taking long logs from here because the two lots of long logs that are in the other logging camp, which I'm about to drive to, are reserved for a task that I need in Greenwoods River. Yeah, these logs are going into the sawmill to be turned into planks. So I'll drive this through to the logging camp and then I'll come to that logging camp with the other two trucks afterwards and just hope that I've got enough fuel to do this. <laughs> if not, I'll be bringing the Phoenix in. Well, that's not got much left. Through the brick plant. 
remember rightly, the logging camp is down this side. It's coming into dusk as well, so driver will need to have his rest break. Quarry is off to my left, so I turn right for the logging camp. Just make absolutely sure. Yeah, between the rocks. Follow the power lines now. We'll park up in the loading bay and then driver will have a rest break and transfer to the cat but he'll have his rest break in the azob because it's a bit more comfortable how much fuel did we get here with 35 liters left so we'll have to put more in again to be able to get out but not too bad and there's a nice bed it's another what it's another uh cab that's got accommodation for my driver so driver will have a rest break and we'll see you guys in the morning right early hours of the morning it is now 5 a.m the driver is an early riser and we are now going to transfer over to the cat and get it back on the road hook up to the Horse and head out uh, we're going to go through the same logging camp because I want to pick up a lot or I need to pick up a bunch of mediums with this cat so the Azov can do loading duties so we'll follow the same route that we just did in the Azov into the same logging camp I think the road goes both ways here Let's do that. That's the way that we came out with the, I think the Azov last time. Bypasses the brick plant, basically. These woods are just completely riddled with rabbit warren of logging trails, which is pretty realistic, I should think. Low old slog. Not the fastest thing. I, I think the combination of towing them, I think both of these trucks can go faster on their own. But sometimes when you put a tow rope on, the combined speed is a lot lower than they could be, even though both have got engines running. Right, so we'll pull alongside and we'll have medium logs loaded up. Medium logs onto the loading platform and then dump my engine, crane mode, legs down. Cat could do with being a little bit closer probably. Nope, perfect. Engine, my crane, got that loaded with eight liters of fuel. That's not bad. I'm going to leave the Azov here because it's not relevant to the contract that I'm currently trying to work on. Now, pack my cargo. Can I steal fuel out of the force? Yes, I can. I'm going to do that again. But I think I might struggle to get back to the sawmill. So let's just go see what we do. 
This cat is pretty thirsty. It's a great truck, but it's pretty thirsty. Uh, we're going to need the engine on on the force. Pretty sure I'm not pulling this thing out on my own. Let's make sure I know the way out. So it's down here. And then my delivery point. Better activate it now. It's just at the bottom of this hill. So it's pretty close actually. Engine on the force. Because I'm not pulling that thing all that way without it running the engine. I was wondering if I could save a little bit of fuel. But it's just too heavy. Even without cargo. I think the Phoenix is even close to empty. I think it's tank. It's only got like 12 litres left in it, if I remember rightly. Oh no. Fuel starvation. I could do with a scout fuel trailer, really. I've managed without, but I could do with one. I may end up driving the little Kodiak up. It's a quite a nimble fuel truck, and I think it's close to full. Right, I am going to engine off and drop the winch on the force and take these logs in on my own deliberately leaving a bit of space there for the force to come in because I'll probably leave the cat here try and get the deliveries done and then worry about getting the vehicles out afterwards so medium logs and only four lots of planks needed the question is now what's my fuel like 92 the question is did I leave enough in the force to get back to the sawmill where it can get some fuel out of the Phoenix. I suppose even if I just get it to the road and at least the Phoenix can easily come and chuck a bit in. Uh, All wheel drive. drive back up again if I can get away with it save some fuel so that's low nah it's just all the drive is quicker and quicker equals cheaper it's my logic I know some people disagree with that but uh, I never got on with the idea of driving just diff lock to save fuel By the time we've finished this and got to the other map as our main base, it's easy, right? Because there's as much fuel as I want for two dollars a litre. I have a little bit of a drive off into the woods to get it, but it's still cheap fuel. And I've got a fuel trailer in there that I think is close to empty, but at least means I can bunker up quite a lot of fuel in that one location near the garage. Right, we're on asphalt. 
And it's downhill, so maybe even try freewheeling a bit of it. Whack it in neutral. Just let it roll down the hill. What could possibly go wrong? We got air brakes right. Don't need engine braking. Ooh, that's a bit quick. Hmm. Huh. Alright, back into auto. That was a bit of fun. There's a fuel station here, but it's six dollars a litre. And I would rather not pay that if I can avoid it. So, if I remember rightly, the four, the Phoenix's fuel tank is full. But I think it's uh, fuel add-on is close to empty. Although there's a bit in the land over there. Use that if I need to. And there's probably a bit in the Voron AE as well. I don't think I need the Voron AE anymore on this map. Apart from driving it to garage. rolled a little bit further than I intended then. So, it's that that trailer. And we're going to get four lots of planks loaded up. Still the crane. Pack the cargo. Unpack it so I can repack the trailer. We'll get loaded up. And off we go back to the same place that the cat is at. And I think I can drive... Uh, what about that, that thing? I mean, I guess that's a sawmill... That's a sawdust hopper. I think I can drive all the way around here to get out. What time of day is it? I say, it's only one o'clock. It feels like dusk again. It's only 1 p.m. But a bit of a mist, a little bit of light rain, and I'm in the shadow of that bunker mountain. So uh, this looks a bit tight, but I think it should work. There, that saves turning the trail around. I will check. I didn't do it then. I'll check how much fuel is in that Voron because it might be a good candidate to go in and just give fuel to the Azov and grab another set of mediums while I'm in there if I need them. I've got to count up exactly how many I need for the railway contract on the other map. Now you may have heard my dog barking then in the background. Hopefully not. He's in another room but he's got quite a deep bark that carries and he's a bit annoyed at a neighbour that's doing some work out in their garden on a sunny day now I thought including the drive of the Ford at the start of the episode I thought that would make this recording too long for me to have completed this but no got it done Assuming I don't tip over in the next three minutes. Just looking at whether there are any other routes I would use, but no, I think I'll just cross as normal 
and drive down the same route. And this is the last activity for this Black Badger Lake map. Now, I have to collect two lots of long logs, as I've mentioned earlier, for a task in Greenwoods River. And I will collect them from the logging camp where the Azov is currently parked. But this is the final task, contract, contest, upgrade. Everything is finished for Black Badger Lake with these four deliveries. So, cargo. Big trees to small homes. Thanks for your work. We have no idea where they'll store all that firewood, but it's their problem, not ours. <laughs> Fine. 246,000. Total balance. 15 grand for that one. So that's not bad. And yeah, got a decent, a decent amount of money at the minute in the bank. Which is making me think about what should I buy. <laughs> I'm pleased with that. That means that we've just got the one map left to finish. Like I say, two lots of logs in here. That'll be easy enough. And then we'll be Grainwoods and onto a Muir. Unless I do a special expedition first. And I am considering doing a special expedition before a Muir. Um, but I've got a fair bit of planning to do if I want to do that. So I'm going to wrap this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope to see you in the next one where we'll move into Greenwoods River. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you very much and goodbye.